Hey guys, Captain C.A. Richardson here, and I've got something different today. We're going to have a head-to-head -head comparison with the Shimano Tranks 150 versus the Shimano DC 150. This was kind of spurned from a question that was asked of me at a recent fishing school. Hey, I want to get started throwing inshore bait casters. What would be the best bait casting reel for me? So I said, I'm going to go to the water throw them both, give you my honest opinion, uh, and tell you which one I would want. We'll be right back in the studio. You go to the water right now. episode of Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. I both the Corrado DC and the Tranks 150. Now the Corrado DC is a 150 as well. They have equal um, braid weights and they have the same lure on it. They're on the exact same Terramar Double X six foot nine medium. We're gonna try them out, try to get a head to head comparison. Pretty damn accurate. And no backlashes ever. Very little thumbing. And you can you can cast it, you know, in there a good ways. A lot of these casts are 90, 100 foot. You know, target fishing, you make that cast. Even in the wind, that's good. Definitely like this reel. You know, I've been letting clients fish it a lot. And if you're a newbie to casting reels in inshore water, this is definitely something to start with. A little bit more of an investment financially, but hard to argue that this one wouldn't teach you how to be proficient with a casting reel because it is absolutely automatic. I've got a lot of clients that have bought into this Shimano Corrado DC technology and that digital break, it's a microcomputer. It makes, it makes decisions, you know, at an incredibly fast rate and doesn't allow you to overrun the spool.
Lazarus. Look, another spell. Here we have the Tranks. Um, one of my favorite reels all through 2022, and it's saltwater tough, I can tell you that. It also gives me certain advantages over the DC with the freedom of the brake. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I prefer to throw the DC into the wind because it just helps you so much minimize backlashes. But if I really want distance, the Tranks is what I'm throwing most of the time. And the Tranks is, is one of those reels that was really designed to fish the salty stuff. Now, I'm that guide or that pro that fishes a lot of fresh water, a lot of brackish water, and a lot of salt water. But this spool is so much faster because the only thing that slows it down is me so I can get some super ripping cast out of this thing. And when I really have to sling a lure a long way, it's typically Tranks time for me um, in shore salt water. And again, all these rods are paired up with the same type of braid, 20 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2, both rods are. And they both have Miradine MR17s from Mirror Lure that weigh about 3 eighths of an ounce. Haven't changed anything. Um, and the rods are six foot nine Terramars. These are the uh, mediums with a fast tip. So they're, they're perfect for, for casting accurately. I love a little six foot nine rod for this style of fishing. But with that six nine being a little stiffer than the medium seven foot in the Terramar series, the Tranks feels just like, to me, more natural. I don't have to sling it as hard to get the same cast. And one of the cool things about the Tranks is it's about $50, $60 cheaper than the DC. Now, it's not as smart as the DC, and it, it lacks a few features, and we're going to go back in the shop, and we're going to talk about that later, why there's a difference between the two reels. Um, I believe the Tranks definitely is for the guy that's a little bit more seasoned with a bait caster. Uh, and it's super light. It's, it's lighter than, than most low profiles. And if you're familiar with the Trank series, you already know you love the durability of it. And they're really tough. I mean, for what they are, they're super tough. And I, I'm usually in the small skiffs all the time, so I do have to deal with salt water. And I do love my Tranks. I really do. But fantastic bait. Uh, bait caster in my opinion and if you, if you really want to round out your stuff uh, as big a fan as all, to, to me uh, as I am with all the Corrados and believe it or not the Cronarch is has got to be one of my all-time favorites out of Shimano this Tranks 150 when the guys told me we were getting it I got pretty excited all right nice to have the b-roll when you're comparing them apples to apples uh, you get out there in the field, you want to know what's going on. So what's going to be number one? Because at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you which one I prefer. The DC. I'm going to start off with the DC. The Shimano DC 150, this happened to be the HG version, um, is a really solid, uh, solid, solid reel. Especially if you're a beginner. Because the DC stands for Digital Control Braking. There's a little microcomputer that's inside this reel that literally makes thousands of calculations during the cast so that you will not get an overrun. I'm not saying you'll never get one, but it greatly reduces the number of overruns or backlashes. Uh, 
What does that mean? Well, if you're a beginner, this is a no brainer. You got to start with this one. It'll build all the confidence that you'll ever need um, to be an inshore bait casting enthusiast. So that's for sure. If you're a seasoned um, bait casting fan and, and you're used to casting these reels, the DC really is something that I would use throwing lighter baits throwing into the wind, you know, if I knew I was going to fish an area where I'm going to be throwing into the wind, because I bring both these reels on my boat all the time. Uh, if I decided that halfway through my day, I wanted to skip a few docks or skip a few mangrove shorelines, this is the reel to do it with. Does an excellent job. You saw in the B-roll footage how I'm able to skip up underneath docks and things with this reel with a lot of ease. So for me, the, the standard features that you would expect in this, the Hagani body, um, the cross carbon drag up to 11 pounds in this one. Um, this also has the micro module gearing, which you see in the higher end reels with X ship coating. So it has that real silky smoothness to the reel itself. So it, it feels like a high end reel. It weighs 7.8 ounces, which is more than the Trinx by a full ounce. Uh, the 150 size spool, honestly, I use a lot of 20 pound power pro on these. So it holds about 150 yards. So if, if you're looking for something in a reel that gives you a lot of latitude, this one also has three different gear ratios, which gives you a lot of lower speed control. Um, I would really consider getting this reel, honestly. Um, especially, like I said, if you're new to this, you got to do it. You just, you got to do it. The first thing you notice when, you, when you're holding these two reels is this definitely is a Corrado. And you can tell it's Corrado from across the room or across the shop. You instantly like, that's the Corrado color. That's their signature color. Well, with Tranks, this is the signature color, which is great if you're a saltwater guy because it doesn't show the water spots or anything on this reel nearly as much. And that's what this reel was designed. In fact, the whole Tranks lineup is designed for, you know, being a marine tough saltwater anglers, anglers in micro skiffs, anglers that wade fish, anglers in kayaks. That's what this was designed for. And honestly, they've added Core Protect to this reel, which is a coating in certain critical zones on this reel to keep it from being degraded by salt water. Now it has some of the same great features, the Hagani rigid saltwater tough body to fight big fish like snook and redfish and whatnot. Um, but it also has the stainless anti-rust ball bearings and it has cross carbon drag up to 13 pounds, a little bit more drag in this one. Uh, it only weighs 6.7, which is a little more than an ounce lighter than the Corrado DC. Uh, like I said, it's got the SVS uh, Infinity brake system right here, six adjustments, plus you can open the side plate and then you can push the magnets in and out to give you even more adjustment. And then naturally you've got your tension knob on the side for those little fine adjustments at the very end of the cast. So to me, if you're a long caster and you really enjoy letting it fly, this is a great, a great pickup, this reel here. Uh, just so much adjustment with the SV, uh, SVS Infinity system. Uh, for me, it, it, it's, it's a difference maker because it allows me to make the super long casts with the heavy lures. And then it allows me, if I have to go into the wind, I can drive it right into the wind and have an awful lot of control. Not as much control as the DC, but a lot of control. And if you're a seasoned hand, you'll love this. I love casting this reel. It also comes in three gear ratios, if you will. Um, that gives you a lot of lure control, like I said earlier. And believe it or not, this, this reel is cheaper. It's $199, where this reel is $259. So you're talking about a $60 difference, 60 bucks. That makes you think. That makes you think about it a little bit. Now, I have the ability, because I'm a Shimano ambassador, to have both of them. But if you're thinking about buying a reel... It just depends on where you are and what you do the most of. If you're into skipping, you're going to want that DC. If you're just getting into it, you're going to want that DC. If you're hardcore saltwater and this is nothing new to you, you're going to want this Tranks. All right. 
So this is, this is what you've been waiting for. Which one am I going to choose? Am I going to choose the Corrado DC? And it's hard not to choose this. Remember, lighter lures into the wind. You can skip with it. You don't have to be perfect every time. It's a smart reel. It really is. Or I could go with the Tranks 150. Now, the Tranks 150 is built for salt water. It's salt water tough. It also is cheaper, $60 cheaper. It offers SVS Infinity braking on this one instead of the digital braking. But it gives me the ability to open up, change out the magnets as far as popping them in and out. I've got six points of adjustment instead of four with this one. So it gives me a lot more, I'm going to say, opportunity to fine tune this one and I can really sling it. It's also lighter. This one's about a full ounce lighter than this one. In the end, because of its trouble-free feel and, and lightness, and it costs less, I would probably go with the Tranks. That's what I would go personally as a seasoned hand with bait casting gear. I would go with the Tranks. But you can guarantee on my boat on every trip, I do have a Shimano Corrado DC 150. And that's just in case the weather is not perfect. I got to skip trees or I got to skip docks. It's nice to have that as you saw in the B-roll. Okay, if you enjoy these types of reviews that we do here on Flats Class YouTube or our, our fishing tips or our adventure stuff or even just watching episodes of Flats Class Television that we've had on here for years, give us the thumbs up, smash that subscription button. Tell all your friends. Tell them this is where you come to become a better angler. All right, I've got to go build another YouTube video for you to keep you on the cutting edge of how-to fishing for inshore. Till next time, Captain CA signing off.